پاتھ دس از دی رائٹ وے فلم عیسا بن حب القفر وین عیسا علیہ السلاۃ والسلام پرسیو فروم دم دی ڈس بلیف دیٹ دے آر گوئنگ ٹو ریجیکٹ می دے آر گوئنگ ٹو اپوز می دے آر گوئنگ ٹو شو اینمٹی ٹوورڈز می آل امن انصاری اللہ دے از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے کنفلکٹ سو آئی شوڈ ہیو سم سپورٹرس آئی شوڈ ہیو سم ہیلپرس سو ہی کال ٹو دی پیپل کال امن انصاری اللہ ہو از مائی ہیلپر ان دی وے آف اللہ کال الحواری یون دی ہواری یین ہز کمپینینس ہی ریپلائڈ نہ نو انصار اللہ وی آر دی ہیلپرز آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی آمن ناب اللہ وی بلیو ان ہم مشہد میں اللہ مسلم ہوں سو یو آلسو بی اے وٹنس دیٹ وی سرینڈر اور سیلس ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی وی آر فرام امنگ دی مسلم وی آر فرام امنگ دی بلیورز یو آلسو ٹیسٹیفائی اینڈ وی آر ہیئر وی ول بی ہیلپنگ یو ان دی وے آف اللہ ربنا آمنا دس از اگین دی سینگ آف دی سیم ہماری یو ان کمپینینس ربنا آمنا بما انزلتا او آور لارڈ We, we believe in whatever you have sent down, the Injil that was sent down on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu was salam. Wa taba'na rasul. And we are following, we are doing ittiba. Now again the word is ittiba here. First it was ita, and now ittiba. Wa taba'na rasul. We are following your messenger. Faktubna ma'ashayideen. You also write us our names among those who are witnesses to you. Now from this very, you know, point witnesses you have the sect of the christians jehovah's witnesses actually because you know the source this is the same the terminology is the same jehovah's witnesses actually this ummah has been created to be witnesses unto the whole of mankind kadalika ja'alnakum ummatan wasatan litakunu shuhada 'ala an-nas wa yakunu rasulu 'alaykum shahida every messenger of allah was a witness to his nation to his people from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this ummah has been created to be witnesses of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unto the whole of mankind and over the whole of mankind so they said write our names among the witnesses faktubna ma shahidin wa makaru wa makar allah and they plotted against him the jews their rabbis who were much offended by hazrat masih alayhi salatu was salam They felt threatened. Their position was in jeopardy. So they had to oppose. But Makaru, and now they started planning and conspiring against Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. But Makaru, but Makar Allah. And Allah also planned. But Allahu khairul makirin. And He is definitely, Allah is definitely the best of the planners. Is qal Allahu ya Isa inni mutawaffika. And we call the time when Allah said to Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, Ya Isa, O Isa, inni mutawaffika, I am now going to recall you. I am now, now going to take you back. Warafi'uka ilayya. And I will lift you. And this was lift, lifting was bodily lifting. It was not, you know, only spiritual lifting. The whole, tawaffi, the word, you know, tawaffi means taking something, taking something in possession. And this has been used in three senses in the Qur'an. Allah ho yatawaffal anfusahina mawtiha wallati lantamut fi manamiha. When we sleep, our consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is also tawaffi. When we die, our nafs is taken, our life is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we sleep, only consciousness is taken. Body is with there, present here. And the life is also there in the body. Only consciousness is taken and this is tawaffi. And when some, someone of us dies, his, his life is also taken along with the consciousness. This is also tawaffi. And Hazrat Isa was taken. Allah took the position of Isa, his consciousness, plus his life, plus his body. And that was the complete tawaffi. Inni mutawaffi ka. This word is applicable in its total sense on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam only. Otherwise, when we die, this word is partially applicable because the body remains here. It goes to the dust. Only the life and the consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know, when Jesus was taken, he was taken whole. The body as well as the life as well as the consciousness. Is qal Allah, ya Isa, inni mutawaffi ka wa rafi'u ka ilayya, and lifting you up towards me. وَمُتَحْهِرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I will purify you against those 
who have disbelieved you, who have leveled charges against you, I will absolve you of all the charges. But Jairu Ladina Tabaruka Fakal Ladina Kafaru. And I will make those who follow you over those who have denied you. And that is the thing we find throughout the history. Christians have been above the Jews all the time. And now, in our time also, all the Jews, you know, they have a state of their own and they are, so to say, now very respected, they hold very respectable position. But this is also due to the protection of the Christians. That is under the protection and guardianship of the Christians that they have all these facilities and all these positions, otherwise they themselves have nothing. And the Christians are above them. And this will happen till the day of judgment. Then all of you will have to return to, uh, to me. And then I will judge between you about those things in, about which you had been differing. What will be the judgment? As for those who had made kufr, committed kufr, who had denied the ayat of Allah, I will put, to the mo to put them to the most severe punishment in this world also and in the hereafter also. And they will have no helpers. Nobody will be able to, serve, to save them. On the contrary, وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who have come to believe, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they have done good deeds, فَيُوَفِّيهِمْ أُجُورَهُمْ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their, their reward in full. وَاللَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah does not like the evil doers. ذَلِكَ نَتْلُوهُ عَلَيْكَ مِنَ الْآيَاتِ وَالزِّكِ الْحَكِيمِ This is what we are reciting to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the signs of Allah, and from the admonition that is that has wisdom. Az-Zikr al-Hakim, wise admonition. In the Masala Isa, now this is the point about which all this argument has been, you know, built up. Because before that deportation of the Christians, Christian, Christian, you know, ulama, the knowledgeable persons, now this is the final verdict. Inna masala Isa in the lahika masala Adam. If you think that because Jesus was born without any man father, therefore the father was God. That's the only argument that you can say. Because he was born without father, without any human father, so definitely that place has been filled by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. So he is the son of God. What will you say about Adam? He was created without father, without mother. He was created out of clay. 